locked out tight. Since we can't get in, I figure we'll have to destroy it from the outside. I hope you're carrying some heavy explosives, Bentley, because that engine isn't small. It just so happens that there's a ready supply of explosives already available on the blimp. Walk one of these TNT barrels up to that engine room to destroy it. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? The initial payload in that TNT barrel won't be powerful enough to do the job. If you pick up three magnetic chargers, you should achieve the necessary blast force to destroy the engine. It's simple, really. Just get close to the chargers, and they'll automatically attach to your barrel. All right. Let's blow stuff up.
the last time anyone puts that engine to use. In an unexpected windfall, I've been contacted by Inspector Fox over the shortwave radio. She's well aware of the dire situation we all face if Plakla becomes immortal and has agreed to join forces with us so that we can destroy the robotic bird. The only catch is that she's unable to locate this blimp on her radar. To help her hone in on our position, we'll need to boost the strength of four local radio towers. Once Inspector Fox is in range, she'll take one of us on board to act as a tail gunner in a dogfight against Clockla. This is it. We don't have time for another plan. We're almost over Paris, and if that hate hypnosis light show goes off, well, you know the story. this all got to do with this thing you've got me wearing? It's an experimental mega jump pack. By pressing the R2 button, you'll perform a huge jump, so be careful. All right, sounds like fun.
spot our signal. She's now headed on an intercept course directly for us.